Hello everybody, Excalibur from Excalibur Zone here, and I'm at, I've got another D6 crack pack going. Uh, stopped by the new Battleground game store here in uh, Chesterfield, Virginia, and got myself some packs. So, here we go, we're going to go ahead and um, pick this up. Here's the front of the packs, the back of the packs, and we're going to go one through six. So, one from here, six to there. And, rolling that die. And hit a two. Now, um, what is a D6 crack pack? Well, I crack open packs of magic cards or any other ca cards really, and uh, I roll a D6 to do it. So first it's going to be a D6, and then it's going to be a D10, and then it's going to be a D4, and then a D6, a D6, and then open. So we got a two. We're going to go. I think I said one to six. We're going to go two right there. Now what I generally do is I'll open it up, I will read the commons, and then I will show you the uncommons and the rares. And uh, I set aside all mana fixing, and that's like uh, lands and stuff like that, and multi-lands. And I set aside the rares because I like to have my rares in a separate place from everything else. So here we go, we've got Sage Eye Harrier, Mardu, War Shrieker, Feed the Clan, uh, Just Guy Student, Crippling Chill, Rakshasa's Secret, and a teamer banner, we'll put that there. A jungle hollow, we'll put that there. We have an abomination of Gadul, and a Mardu banner. Ooh. So here we go with the commons right there. Here come the uncommons. We have a ruthless ripper. Death touch and morph. When it's turned face up, target player loses two life. This is very good for your mono blacks. Um, we have set adrift. Dill, put target nine line permanent on top of its owner's library. Yeah. Um, Sultai Soothsayer. When Sultai Soothsayer enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. So this is a great delve enabler. Alright, let's see what the rare is. It's Ivory Tusk Fortress, a nice bulk rare. Untap each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it during each other player's untap step. Not too shabby. Five seven for five, and uh, asks like a seaborn muse sorta, or like a um, prophet of crufix. And we got a mountain and I ah, just regular tip card. That's no fun. Alrighty. So we have five left. We're gonna roll a d10 now. And we get a 0, which is a 10 on the die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's the last one. Let's see what we get. I don't know. There's possibly going to be somebody who does pack cracking for the fun of it. I'll have to talk to the person, and we'll see if we can't get something going. A uh, little co-host action going. So here we go. We've got Erase. Tormenting Voice, Longshot Squad, Cancel, Krumar Bonkin, uh, Scoured Barons, an Embodiment of Spring, an Unyielding Krumar, Smite the Monstrous, Monstrous and a Valley Dasher. Our uh, uncommons are Chief of the Scale, Teamer Charm, and a Murderous Cut. Well, you can see our rare is multicolor, so let's go ahead and see what it is. It's hardened scales. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be placed on a creature you control, put that many plus one plus one plus one counters are placed on instead. So uh, you get a plus one plus one counter, you actually get two. That's really good for your heroic decks and boot. Nothing else. Now we have four left. I'm doing this pretty quick. I'm trying to get it down to a certain amount of time. And the four-sided runs a two. Before, you may have seen that I had the numbers up here on the corners. This one actually has it on the bases. It's one of the older dice, so one, two. There we are. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, it's a Soul Tide Legendary. We'll see if that actually pans out to anything good. Just checking the time. I've got limited time today. Um, so we've got Swift Kick, Awaken the Bear, Feet of Resistance, Sidisi's Pet, 
Crippling Chill, Valley Dasher, Dragon Scale Boom. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Tranquil Cove, uh, Wetland Sandbar, Siegecraft. And then we're going to go on to the Uncommons here, which I like this one. It is Dragon Grip. Ooh, seen everything there. And uh, we have the Mystic Monastery, which goes over here. And a Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, which also goes over with uh, the Mana Fixers. And we've got a Howl of the Horde. Since uh, it's hard to see, I'm going to go ahead and read it. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Raid. If you attacked with a creature this turn, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell an additional time. You may choose new targets for the copy. Ooh, you get ramp going. This is going to be kind of dangerous. And, boop, we get a planes. Yeah. And, ooh, one of the cool warrior cards. All right, so we have three left. What we're going to do is we're going to roll a d6 again, and that d6 is going to be split in half. Whoop. Ow. Pretty much divide by two. And I lost the die. Wow, that's the first time. I'm not going to play it where it lies. So here we go. Five. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last one's going to be odd or even. And we'll see what comes out of that. This is even more fun when you have different packs, because then you don't know what's coming up. So we have Swift Kick, Awaken the Bear, Feet of Resistance, Canyon Lurkers, Glacial Stalker, Shambling Attendance, a Scald Kin, a Saltai Scavenger, a Treasure Cruise, and a Thornwood Falls. So there's our, all our commons. Here are our uncommons. We have Blinding Spray, yeah. Roar of Challenge, and a Mardu Rough Rider. Not that bad, not that bad at all. And our rare is a Necropolis Fiend. Hello, Bulk Rare. But I'll read it. Uh, delve, Flying, X Tap, Exile, X Card from your graveyard. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. So not only do you have to spend mana, you've got to exile cards from your graveyard. And then there's an island and a morph. These morphs are way too common. But then again, it's a big morph deck. So we have two, and we can use any of the dice, but since it's D6, crack pack, or pack crack, we're going to do it, and it's even. So this is odds and evens. Let's open it and find out. Ooh. It's much more fun when you have friends opening around you, too, so you can exclaim what you got. So we've got a, tus a Tusked Colossodon, Erase, Glacial Stalker, Bitter Revelation, A Tranquil Cove, Unyielding Krumar, A Sultai Banner, A Firehoof Cavalry, An Arrow Storm, and a Mar... We're going to stop. And because I'm so clumsy, I saw that we have a foil in this pack. But here we go. First rare is a Mardu Blazebringer. When it attacks or blocks, sacrifice it at end of combat. This guy goes hand in hand with uh, the Throne of Cartier, I think that's Throne of Tarkir, where you can tap it and it does da um, creatures get plus X plus X, which is the toughness. I mean the power, sorry. So this guy sits on the throne. We have a Cranial Archive, which uh, we can pay to an exile and target player shuffles his or graveyard into his or her library. And then you've got a cantrip. So this is really good for your, uh, um, instead of the um, Elixir of Immortality, I think this is even better than that. And Death Frenzy is the last one. So all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, you gain a life. So super heavy token decks, this guy is going to wreak havoc and get you lots of life back. Our rare is a Dragon Style Twins. Now that's not too bad. I like it. They have Double Strike and Prowess. So in a burn deck, these guys are going to be really, really deadly. And finally, we have a Snowborn Rider as the foil. Now the Dragon Style Twins, and I think it's the Teamer Ascendancy, Ascendancy um, that if you have a zero casting cost um, artifact, you can pretty much spam it down. That um, with a, like Retraction Helix or something like that, you get an infinite combo. 
um, that guy can get really big, really deadly, really quick. So there's a Snowhorn Rider is the foil, and then a Mountain and a Morph. See, lots of morphs. And we don't have to roll anything for this. How about I just roll all three dice? And just for your fun, I got a five, a th I got a five, a three, and an eight for 16. So 16 is what this die rolled up as. I wonder if that's any good, but awesome, awesome artwork. I love that. That is a beautiful piece of work. Too bad it's going to be thrown away. Maybe one of these days I'll do a collage of wrappers. Who knows? We have a Sage Eye Harrier, a Mardu War Shrieker, a Feed the Clan, a Bitter Revelation, Force Away, Rush of Battle, Bloodfire Mentor, Highland Game, and a Dismal Backwater. And lastly, a Mardu Hateblade. Our uncommons are the Gurmag Swingwift. Swiftwing, there we go, Gurmag Swingwift. Swiftwing. I don't know I'm saying that Swingwift over and over again. Anyway, a Water Whirl. And a Warden of the Eye. The rare is a Herald of Anafenza. Uh, not too bad. It's got an Outlast. Whenever you activate Herald of Anafenza's Fenza's Outlast ability, put a 1-1 one, one White Soldier token onto the battlefield. And then we have a Swamp. And what are the cool warriors? So there you have it. We got a total of uh, six rares and a foil. That's not too bad of a haul for six packs. Um, I like getting the double rares more often than not. Um, I can already see places for Dragon Style Twins, Howl the Horde, um, and the Herald of Anafenza. Especially if you have a Perforos deck. This Herald of Anafenza is going to be scary. Too bad Outlast is a tap ability. Uh -huh. and that's about it. So, I was talking to a couple of people, and I think what I'm going to start doing is a monthly giveaway. I'm going to buy a pack of magic. It can be any pack that I find. We're going to find someone to open that pack, and I think I know that someone is because there's been a lot of, yes, get that person to do it. Get that person. I want to see that person open packs. And that person wants to open packs. They just want to open packs. They don't care. So we may be doing some live pack opening with uh, people other than me. And then here's the cool deal. A week before the pack is opened, I'll put out a raffle copter. And then when the raffle copter ends, we'll have our winner. And then we'll open up the pack, find out what's in it, and then announce the winner. And all you have to do is sub my channel through the raffle copter. Just do the raffle copter options, and you get a free pack of cards. And if you're in the local area, then you can possibly get those cards right then and there when they're opened. So, until next time, this is Excalibur. And uh, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing magic. Please like favorite and subscribe it really helps me to know that people are watching this if you would please visit www.patreon.com slash Excalibur Zone that is uh, my patreon campaign where I am trying to raise money uh, one to uh, support um, me making content like this uh, to be able to get more games get more packs open more packs do giveaways that kind of thing but more importantly it's about charity because one half of all my net proceeds from patreon will go towards charity I've got a list of uh, charities that I'll be giving to initially and there are rewards on patreon where you get to choose which um, charity it goes to and it's got to be uh, a legit charity it can't be like feed Excalibur fund you know how that is so, as always, again, I'm Excalibur, and I'm out.